Okay, uh, let's try that again. This level 4 boss. I mean, level 5. Okay, Therese buff. I have to make sure everybody gets the buff. Do I already increase my potential liberation for Therese? I think I did. This is the increased buff. Yeah, this is the increased buff, I think. So Diana here. Buff everyone. Eclipse will be sacrificial because we activate this. So we do increase by 200%. But we are sacrificing Eclipse. Whoever that you put here will be sacrificed. Should I sacrifice Therese instead? Now that I think of it, why not sacrifice Therese instead, right? She already applied the buff. So why not just let her die? Holy, let her die? Uh... Yeah, I'm trying to think. Why do I need Therese after this? She already buffed everyone. Do I care about this that much? This also gives 3 SP. I think Therese might be much more disposable. Than the other few characters. But I cannot... The problem is I have to place Therese in the middle. And that's the problem. And she has to buff everyone first. And her style range is not... If I do it like this, then Diana will be the one that die instead. And I don't want Diana to die. So you know what? Let's just go with this. Let's go with this. Uh, we buff everyone. We buff everyone. We use the skill. We use... This one for now, because we are at the side right here. I will, I will love to use this, but you know, I'm going to use the Machina Call. And then for now, we use the Midsummer Heat Wave FOMO Skin. So do I get back my cost? Boom, 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 boom. I think Eclipse do give back more cost if you are in the middle. Okay, so now I can move my Rafina back to the middle, right? So now I just go one cost. I can do this. And now I can Rafina this. And now I can do this. Holy, look at that damage. Okay guys, look at this damage, look at this damage. This is insane. The boss is currently having... Incoming damage increase from his own 200%. So I gotta take this opportunity to use to unleash my strongest, strongest skill of all. Okay. Okay, decent damage. That's a lot of damage. Do you guys saw Shirazad's damage? That's a lot of damage. The damage. The damage. This will kill, right? This has got to kill. I'll be surprised if you're still alive. Oh no, Shirazad's the other costume and this one is... I'm guessing my buff ran out as well. No more buffs. Okay, we are back to this one. For the decreased defense. Back to this Shirazad costume. I like this one, man. This one is so good. Actually, my Shirazad don't have any potential liberation. I think if I get it... I'm curious to check that Shirazad's... Uh, there was a plus 5. Can I see the... Wait, why can't I see the statistics? I'm pretty sure that did the most damage. Okay, now we have we gotta use two team, two team. Okay, so this is going to be for level six boss with two team, right? Uh, you know what? Let me just uh, exit and show you guys how the two teams are going to be like. So I have Rue, Celia, Sylvia, Angelica, and Fred on team one. Team two, we have uh, the same usual characters. So I'm gonna show you guys what the strategy is all about and also explain what we are going to try to do right here. So you want to try to do two things. Number one, you want to get the boss to attack you first so that you get this thing, right? If the boss uses a second attack, notice uh, target's property damage increased by 50%. Now, if target has barrier 
effect or energy guard, targets property damage increased by 100%. That means Rue right here can give you energy guard, uh, Red Riding Hood Rue, she will be able to give everybody that particular effect. Now this is going to be property damage increase. That means make sure you are the, you are using characters that have the property advantage damage, right? So in this case, uh, Sylvia is a water type and the boss is a fire type. Type, so we get the buff right there makes sense but for angelica right here she does it doesn't matter because she's a light type so she doesn't have the property uh, her property wouldn't matter as much right so one more skill is this one all right if you guys are not aware yet if you apply any sort of weakening to the boss uh, either you decrease defense decrease attack uh, incoming damage increase for the boss doesn't apply all right keep in mind if you use zenith it doesn't count but it only counts when you decrease defense decrease attack or some sort of things that's where celia come in later on so you want to start off by using this skill. This skill doesn't apply anything yet. So this skill is safe. And then we just, uh, I guess we can just hit the boss for now. And we're going to go middle. We're just going to use Fred's, uh, this skill. Fred is there to give battery, right? She give, uh, he give 4 SP. So 4 SP is good. That means we get uh, 3 SP back because that skill is 1 SP in itself. Angelica gonna apply the OT. Zoop. Okay, so we apply the OT to the boss. Okay, so we are still alive. So now the boss is gonna apply the second hit. So we just let the boss apply second hit for now. We just chill for a bit. Don't have to waste anything too much. Uh, we can go with Sylvia, um, you know? Just go with Sylvia uh, attack. Fred can attack. And then we go with Angelica's D skill, right? So uh, we are saving the Angelica's uh, swimsuit Angelica's attack for the later one. So later we're gonna stack that. Okay. Boom. Okay, decent damage, decent damage. Boom. Okay. So now you're gonna see this buff right here. Notice now we have this buff. Property damage increase. So no my characters give that because the boss hit us. So now we're gonna apply the this particular thing. So how do we do that? We are going to use Celia for that. Now when we do this, we are actually just sacrificing one of our character. Whoever that you put the most front is going to get killed and die from that. So, think carefully, whoever that you want to go with uh, the choice of... In this case, do I want Rue? Because Rue's job is done, right? She already gave the energy guard. Uh, either Sylvia... Because Sylvia is... Yeah, I guess sacrificing Sylvia wouldn't be that bad of an idea. I wouldn't mind doing that, but I think Fred, Fred can also... Because Fred is going to give the... Um, what is that? We're going to sacrifice Fred because after this, he gives battery. We don't really need him anymore. The boss is going to kill us in two turns. We won't have enough to, to do anything anymore. So whoever that you put in the most front. So that's my Angelica. She did a ton of damage right there. Boom. The boss is just going to kill that person, right? So in this case, Fred goes down. So this one you got to be careful. This third attack from the boss, notice, decrease 2 SP for each attack target. So just play somebody there. Somewhere, somewhere like this. So only this person will get hit. Alright, that's how I do it. So we're gonna go with uh, Sylvia in the middle, or you can put Sylvia in the middle, I guess. And then Angelica can go for the middle again. Uh, yeah, something like this would make sense. Boom, boom. Okay, we try to do as much damage as we can while we can. Okay, so the next attack is gonna kill us, is this particular one. This is going to KO everyone instantly. Now, make sure you don't use too much of your SP because the next one, uh, you want to have enough, kind of like, I wouldn't say you need full, but at least for my, for my setup, I need some for the next one. So I guess I'm going to do this. I don't think Celia is going to need to do anything. We don't need to use Celia anymore. Uh, I'm just going to do this, this. Uh, just enough to, you know what? I think this is too much. This skill is a bit too much for Angelica. It's not worth it. Because the next one we're gonna need a lot. We need a lot for the next one. Okay, I'm gonna go with this. Should 
Actually, I'm not sure if it does. I didn't do the calculation properly. So you get back 3 SP. So in conjunction, this will be minus 4 right now, right? Minus 4. Is it enough? Let me see. So first, Therese buff. Diana buff. Uh, Rafina, we're gonna do... This one, remember this one doesn't get affected. This one incoming with physical damage won't activate this. So this one can activate twice. So this is for team 2. Uh, Eclipse, we just do this for now. Shirazad, we do this. Huh, maybe maybe it's just enough if we use the Angelica skill just now. We can still afford to use that. Uh, I just counted as enough. Whoa, 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 whoa. Eclipse don't need to hit, I think. Yeah, Eclipse don't need to hit. So we just do this, 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 this. Yeah, I think it's more than enough. I could I could have gone with the with the Angelica skill. So I hope you guys can see what I'm trying to do. Oh no, my face cam is there, so you guys can't see the boss damage. Okay, so now the boss is gonna use the second attack. Now we let the boss now. Okay, remember. This one is well, this one is very important. You want everyone to get hit. Also, you want Diana to use this skill because everybody needs energy guard. And make sure you, you position them so that everyone gets hit. Uh, especially Shirazad. Very important. Shirazad need to need to be positioned so that she get hit. Just position everyone to get hit so that they get the the property damage increase. We're gonna do a lot of damage. Like a lot. A lot. Uh, this one remove barrier. So I want to save this for later. So Rafina can just do the normal attack first. All right, do the normal attack. Celia is going to um, huh? So she's also going to do the normal attack and lapis witch. If I do this. I'm just gonna do this for now. Wait. I don't want to use too much uh, SP because I want next round. Next round, I need a lot of SP. Not next round, next, next round. Because we are still setting up, right? Remember? We're still setting up. Energy guard. Okay. Alright. So everybody has property damage increase now look at this this is the buff we are looking for property damage increase so now we are trying to activate this boss this particular skill now how do we do that you ask is that what you're asking how do we do that very easy let me tell you we're gonna do this therese can chill for a bit so who are we sacrificing are we sacrificing therese are we sacrificing diana or are we sacrificing eclipse so sadly, Eclipse might be the one <coughs> that we need to sacrifice. So we're going to do this. <coughs> Excuse me. So in this particular order, hopefully we get back all the costs. So Eclipse will be the sacrifi sacrificial for this. Uh, whoever they will put in front is going to get KO'd. And it is a little bit unfortunate, but hey, that's what it is. <laughs> Sacrifices gotta be made for good damage. <laughs> bu 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 bu. Boom. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we are ready for the boost again. Now we're gonna go all in. Buff everybody again with uh Therese. Diana don't have to do anything. So this is going to be our... Look at this damage. 313,000. So she's going to move last. Rafina needs to go middle. Rafina needs to go middle. Okay. Look at the boss HP right now. 20, uh, 19 million, right? You guys will be surprised how much... Uh, codename as Shirazad. This is the strongest costume. I'm saving it for this round. How much this can do? This is going to be insane. Buff. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, look at this, look at this. Holy, that is a lot of damage, son. Son. Tell me that is not a lot of damage. 
okay. So now we are losing the buffs, which is a bit unfortunate. So we're gonna do what we can for now. We'll still go back to the usual stuff. See if we can battery battery our way back. I think we are losing the property damage. I wonder if I have enough cost now. Oh no, that was the last one. Okay, I didn't. Get, oh man, this was less damage. I guess I guess I didn't really crit. Anyways, uh, that's my strategy. Uh, I don't know if you guys have better strategy. Feel free to comment below. But uh, I figured just showcasing you that code name as Shirazad, she does thirty seven percent of the damage. The Fallen Angelica did very good as well, and then my Pool Party Angelica didn't do as much as I thought. Uh, very, very interesting and surprising. Yeah, Pool Party Shirazad and Codename S Shirazad. Now, I am aware that by uploading this video on the internet, by uploading this on YouTube, it may cause drama because some of you guys do not have Pool Party Shirazad because it's a limited character. FOMO! Understandable. And if you're going to be mad, hey. That's what it is. That's what it is, right? So, uh, hopefully, you know, you guys get an idea. If you don't have the FOMO costume, I don't know. I don't know what's the alternative. You, you gotta use Shirazad, right? She's, she's the water type. The boss is fire type. You gotta like... You have to, alright? You just have to. She's the best choice. Alright, so, uh, hopefully, with that being said, uh, you know, hopefully this guy can help some of you guys out there. Regardless, start saving for the collab. No more FOMO. Alright, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys take care, subscribe, give this to your like. Have a nice day. Goodbye.